Every now and then I get messages from parents saying that they love watching my videos with their kids. And usually that is awesome. I love hearing that. That's great. Um, this one is a little more risque though. So just know that going forward. <laughs> GoDaddy.com, strugglers. Go! Go, daddy, go! No. If you're a robot person that was created in a lab sometime in the last few months, you probably think of GoDaddy commercials as just the most boring, generic, millennial brain vomit imaginable. Don't ever quit. Yesterday's thinking is done. From a challenge, we never run, so keep pushing forward. Look at us. We're making a different future. Be who you want to be. Shoot for the moon. Wear a hat. We're all entrepreneurs and nothing can stop us. <laughs> right, guys? Start different at GoDaddy.com. Start different. Start different, y'all. GoDaddy, we're quirky. We're not like other brands. If that vanilla corporate marketing wasn't clear, um, GoDaddy is a service where you can purchase domain names. And I think now they offer web hosting. So like, I don't know, think Wix, Squarespace, that type of thing. If you want to start OdellThickPicks.com, then maybe this is the place to go. I, I don't know. I'm not here to rip on the cookie cutter direction the ads are going nowadays. I'm here to talk about this insanity from a few years ago. Yeah. So in the late 2000s and early 2010s, GoDaddy was an absolute marketing juggernaut. They put on highly anticipated Super Bowl commercials every single year, had insane name recognition, and I had no idea what they actually did. All I really knew was that they were the company with the sexy TV commercials. Miss Capelli? Yes, I'd like to be on a commercial. And what will you be advertising? GoDaddy.com. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset the committee. Would this be better if I was like, Go Daddy, Go Daddy, Go Daddy. That's the logo for GoDaddy.com. Uh, you don't need to lean quite so far into the microphone. Oh, okay, sorry, ma'am. If I had to guess, I'd say probably the most well-known commercial of theirs was the kissing one. So hopefully this jogs your memory if you don't know what I'm talking about still. But I must warn you, this one ruined my life. So viewer discretion is advised. There are two sides to GoDaddy. There's the sexy side represented by Bar Raffaele. And the smart side that creates a killer website for your small business represented by Walter. Together, they're perfect. Ugh. Oh, the sounds. I can't even, I can't, oh. mm -mm. Get your domain and website at GoDaddy.com. Well, that didn't last long. When I first saw this, I was 16 years old, just trying to watch the Super Bowl, and my damn parents were in the room. Why would they do this to me? I would probably say top 10 most uncomfortable things to ever see when your parents are in the room. Oh, Lord, take my eyes. Lord. So you might be thinking, wait, I thought you said this was a domain registrar and like a website builder. W what the hell is going on with these ads? Well, same. It was all the work of a man named Bob Parsons and he looks exactly the way I would expect somebody that is responsible for these ads to look. Bob was one of those CEOs that just desperately needed everybody to know that he was the CEO. And at the helm, the same old gregarious boss, Bob Parsons. We're spending a fistful of money on this party. Actually, I'm spending. Think of him as the Hugh Hefner of overpriced domain names. I'm sure he would love that, actually. I'm the GoDaddy JD, here to grant you three wishes. I wish I'd never miss another putt. Sir, you know darn well that is not what she wished for. That was my wish. I'm so glad the whole creepy old man thing is not seen as charming anymore. And how's your meal, sir? It's fine, thank you very much. Can I get you anything else? Yeah, how about you get me a blowjob? <laughs> oh, you asshole. Gosh, now that is good. A blowjob, toots. It's <laughs> funny because he's old. I'm so excited to be a new GoDaddy girl, but I'm a little nervous. Domain names, hosting, email, all for less than a dollar a month. That's it. <laughs> well, there is one more thing. You gotta show me your boobs. Show me your boobs and I'll give you money. You know what would be cool? If they both had double Ds. <laughs> I get it. 
You get it? I, 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 you get I, it? I think that's enough of Bob. Dudes, check it. Oh, your new domain name and website from GoDaddy.com? Yep. Oh, your new domain name and website from GoDaddy.com? Oh, your new Xbox gaming console from the Microsoft Corporation? Oh, your new Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star High Tops from the Converse Shoe Manufacturing Company? That is actually something a sneakerhead would say, though. <laughs> Speaking of, check it out, boys. Figured I'd give them a spin, you know, let you guys know how they're looking lately. Still clean, not distressed yet. And now that I'm online, it's like I can make anything happen. What do you mean by that? It's like I can make anything happen. You can make anything happen. Like buying a domain name was the final infinity stone. No. It's like I can make anything happen. Let's see what he can make happen by being online. Danica Patrick. Hmm? Suddenly I have the urge to take another shower. Oh my gosh, Danica Patrick. From the Got Milk ads. This is awesome. Keep watching. This is my fifth shower today. Steamy. Right, how did you make this happen though? Did buying a domain name turn you into a sorcerer? Because unless you have Danica Patrick's contact information and can convince her to let you film her in the shower to put on your specific website, just because you bought a domain name, none of this is possible still. Bro, now that I'm online, on the World Wide Web, I can hack into the mainframe and uh, bypass the firewall and totally shower with uh, Danica Patrick, like whenever I want, cause I'm online. Steamy, let's add the German woman from the Dean's office. Mitch Schmidt. And now they're summoning women at will. These men are warlocks. Are they building a deep fake website? <laughs> is that what this is? Way ahead of their time. The set designer went crazy with this one too. Look at this. Just guys being dudes, trophies galore, all types of sports goodies, a candy dispenser thing, Viking helmet, typical guy stuff. Let's add the German woman from the Dean's office. Mitch Schmidt. Oh, why you gotta tease me like that, go daddy? Let's flash back to the first time I ever saw this commercial on TV, okay? I was 12 years old, mind going crazy. I'm seeing things that I have not seen before. Yeah, sure, it's a little bit of a shoulder, but she's in the shower, things are getting steamy. What could possibly be on the website? Do they, do they hug? In the shower. Now a perfect man would not have been tempted by such tomfoolery. I was not a perfect man and I'm ashamed to say I did sneak away to the family computer to go to godaddy.com to see the rest of the video. For research purposes, of course. Turns out there was nothing to write home about at all. Just a few more seconds of nothing, essentially. What is wrong with you people? Huh? Go Daddy, the king of overpromising and underdelivering. They like to do that a lot, actually. The commercial would lead up into something that made you think it was gonna be like a soft core porn or something, and they would tease you with an extended version on the website. Oh, you gotta go to godaddy.com to see the rest. And it would always just be like 30 more seconds of unfunny dialogue. Enhanced. I'll show you enhanced. This company is so trashy. <laughs> also, in case you forgot, they sell domain names. It reminds me of when Hardee's used to do, sorry, Carl's Jr. for everybody else except for us, apparently. They used to do those sexy commercials. That maybe they still do, I don't have cable. But that's all this is. It's just throwing a hot woman on screen and being like, here's our company and here's some boobs to look at. You'll see a, uh, at the end of the commercial, uh, uh, an end slate that'll say, See more now at GoDaddy.com. It expands and extends the story of the commercial. So, you know, it's hard to take 30 seconds and get a story out, really. So it kind of elongates the story and, and you know, expands our brand presence. Are you fucking kidding me? You're really going to sit there and pretend like you put that teaser at the end because people are so interested in the story? How dare you? Absolutely how dare you? Trying to justify your bait and switch marketing? More like, no, daddy. No. Shame on you. Every time I search for a domain name at GoDaddy.com, a girl talks to me. SmokinHotDreamGirl.com That's Danica Patrick. SmokinHotDance.com If you're one of my younger viewers, first of all, what are you doing here? I told you not to watch this. You may or may not remember that just a few years ago, pretty much Everybody was completely clueless on like how the internet worked. It seemed like every single day you'd see your entire Facebook timeline just filled up with people claiming, oh, Mark Zuckerberg can't sell my data anymore because I copy and pasted this status update. I think GoDaddy was just hoping that a bunch of dummies would actually assume that by buying a domain name from them, they would unlock access to like not safe for work videos or something. 
Not the case. You just get the domain name. But at least you can say you're the proud owner of smokinghotbabes.com, so I guess that's something. Put that on your resume. GoDaddy CEO Bob Parsons is psyched as usual. This is our best work ever. The internet only version of movies with Danica as Marilyn Monroe is smoking hot. And I predict people of all ages are gonna enjoy our GoDaddy girl as the girl from The Seven Year Itch for years to come. People of all ages, huh, Bob? You're weird, man. You're so weird. At least I told the kids that they shouldn't be here. What are you doing, Bob? You know, there's a name for people like you. Scumbags? Uh, paparazzi? Ah, so close. There are people out there who will pay good money to see exactly what you see. Just go to GoDaddy.com and register your .com name for only $8.95 a year. Register your .com name and you're in business. Mm. What do you call that one? Blackmail. I love how they're encouraging us to invade people's privacy. The world does not need more paparazzi, GoDaddy.com. Their demographic is so weird. It's like creepy, horny dudes, people that want to start a porn website, and peeping toms. Losers, in other words. Well, it's a solid business model. <laughs> Stunning. She already looks like a 10-year-old boy. Oh, come on, Ron. We were looking at this whole industry of domain names and hosting and trying to understand how to better grow the market, better drive customer attraction. And we thought one of the ways to do this could be breasts. Breasts is best. We just decided to bring it in house, to be closer to the ad product, to have our own ideas being expressed. What it enables us to do is have a lot of control. Many in our marketing department go and attend the filming of the commercial so that we can understand what's getting shot and making sure we have the right elements that we're going to need. Yeah, I'm sure that's why all of you go to watch them film these ads. Right, Pussycat Dolls? Yeah, that's a good, um, uh, that's gonna be a good shot, I think. Absolutely. They're following the script very well. I was gonna say that. I was gonna say they're right on script. We should stick around a little longer to make sure they stay on Make sure script, they stay on script. Know? That's exactly what I was gonna say. It definitely, yeah. Check this out. GoDaddy created a goddess avatar. You choose her clothes over here and then you type what you wanted to say here. I've been a naughty girl and I need to be spanked. Nice. Let me try. You've been a bad boy. You need to be punished. <laughs> My turn. Uh-oh, is this the Naughty Boys Club? <laughs> Count me in, honey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. No, Daddy. Are the ads confusingly pointless and misogynistic? Yeah. Are they breathtakingly stupid? Sure. All right, I think that's all I got for you this time. <laughs> no. I have to admit that all of this did make GoDaddy a household name for quite a while, and they made a boatload of money just being the edgy teenagers of marketing back when that was a cool thing to be. It was a product of the times, and the times were very weird. So even though most people assumed GoDaddy was a porn website, they still sold a lot of domain names somehow. So, successful ad campaign that does not hold up well today. Kind of the motto for the 2000s. <laughs> all right, guys, that is all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I would like to encourage you to step away from social media for a while. Might make you feel better. If you're gonna be stubborn and stay on social media though, follow me while you're here. Special thank you to my patrons. Those that are listed here are in the top tier on Patreon. Y'all are so sexy, it's unbelievable. I can hardly control myself. I apologize for saying that. Uh, I'm sure it made some people very uncomfortable. I take it back. Thank you for liking and subscribing, all that good stuff. Um, I guess I'll talk to you again very soon. Goodbye. Oh, my rib. Could you see me just crush my rib? Oh, God, I gotta do that again. I will talk to you again very soon. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm with it, I'm with it. I'm with it, I'm with it,